next participation uh, is the Dr. Julia Charitinova, the Russia. Uh, she talks about the development and uh, infrastructure for a digital citizen profile, a legal experiment in Russia. And the Dr. Julia Charitinova is doctor in law, professor of legal science, Heath and Research and Education Center for Legal Studies, Artificial Intelligence and Digital Economy, Business Law Department, Faculty of Law, Lomonosov, Moscow State University. Welcome to this event. I appreciate Dr. Julia Chetinova. You can start. Uh, thank you. Thank you, dear colleagues. I am so happy to be here. Thank you for uh, having me in this uh, undoubtable <laughs> great event. And uh, I think it will be very fruitful for all of us. Um, unfortunately, I can't speak Spanish or Portuguese like all of you, or maybe the majority. But I try to understand with actually uh, translated with AI, <laughs> like was said, and I am the tendons. Um, I know that we can use artificial intelligence in many cases. And actually, maybe it will be interesting uh, that Moscow State University is a very important uh, participant of such kind of uh, relationships uh, in Russia. Because in our university, we have uh, many different research and practical programs where we study brain cognitive abilities and artificial intelligence, like uh, the system, like the technology, and uh, our colleagues and our students and our partners of the university can um, reach some interesting programs. Um, of course, I work with lawyers, and of course, my sphere is a uh, legal entities, but uh, in many cases, it's a cross-disciplinary uh, situation, so uh, we are involved in many processes. Today, my topic is only about digital platform uh, and uh, personal profiling, but uh, I've got one more mission, if you don't mind. Uh, I, my extra mission today is uh, uh, to represent our scientific center, specific uh, center. Uh, as I said, I can't speak Spanish uh, fluent and actually uh, uh, just understand some words, but we have Spanish speaking countries law center located in our university on uh, our law faculty of Moscow State University. And uh, uh, I, I think that it will be very uh, fruitful for us. Maybe you will be interested or maybe your colleagues, your students will be interested in this collaboration. Only two words about the center. Uh, it has been established with the uh, clear objective of promoting uh, the study, research, and dissemination of law from Latin American countries and all other Spanish-speaking regions. And uh, it is uh, one more reason why I am here and uh, I'm very interested to collaborate with all of you uh, according to this center and also in English. Uh, as a part of our activities in this center, we regularly organize roundtables and conferences and lectures uh, in Spanish uh, for students and um, lawyers who are interested in the contact with uh, South American uh, businesses and also universities. We are uh, some um, uh, partners with some of the South American uh, universities messages too. And these events provide the platforms for uh, reflection and debate and addressing current issues and seeking collective solution on the legal challenges of our time. And I will be happy if you've got your time and interest in to uh, such kind of collaboration. Um, if we are speaking about the main point of uh, my uh, today presentation, uh, the central subject uh, I will uh, 
um, had liked that it will be only the description of the situation uh, because we have maybe no available time for much more deeper uh, information. But uh, according to the previous uh, Mm, reports. Uh, it was said about uh, some points on artificial intelligence. Uh, also, it was said about uh, democracy and constitutional rights, fundamental rights of citizens and uh, about you know, society. And today yeah, we have Mm, already talked about the importance of widespread use of artificial intelligent technologies in the world. But you all know that AI cannot uh, work without big data and also digital rights, we say, uh, uh, is very important question for you while know, discussion for lawyers uh, of um, uh, one of the key points of modern law is to find a balance between the protection of personal data rights and the interest of business and state to get such data at first hand. As in many other countries, Russia uh, is actively discussing the introduction of digital um, infrastructure and the creation of a uh, unified identification and authentication system. Uh, we are interested in different uh, experience in different countries uh, we know they use some kind of ranks for um, profiling persons, for profiling citizens. Of course, we are working uh, hard with uh, collaboration in collaboration with China universities, but also we know that in many uh, European and American countries, uh, we can uh, um, I don't know realize that. Um, it works in, not only in such kind of uh, system like uh, social credit system in uh, China. In September 2023, it was approved in Russia. Then by the end of December 2023, uh, Russia should have the infrastructure for the digital profile, a unified platform that will ensure the exchange of information between the state, citizens, and organization, you see, uh, including commercial ones, especially uh, credit organization, banks, and so on. Uh, the digital profile is one of the key elements of the digital infrastructure and the technologies that will form its basis will ensure a simple, fast and legal data exchange between consumers and data providers using a single technological ID and will allow managing citizens digital consents for uh, information exchange. Uh, one of the priority tasks uh, of this platform uh, is to provide access to data on a citizen or legal entity. It will be not only about uh, personal uh, data, it also will be about legal entity data, but um, it will be the same. Mm, it's just a concept, just a project. And now we can say that uh, maybe it will be the same um, legal regime uh, for Will's um, data and it will be contained in other state information system through the public service portal. Data about a person is transferred only with his or her consents. Uh, in the future, the platform will make it possible to withdraw consent if necessary. You know, all of us get some um, uh, consent to many to many aims yeah when we are uh, dealing with different different organizations and um, it will be a government authority or maybe it will be just um, commercial companies and so on but like in the gdpr uh, the same rules exist in russian legislation uh, the data subject has the right to withdraw his or her consent at any time and in any aim in any time in in any aim the withdrawal of consent shall not affect the lawfulness uh, of proceeding based on consent before its withdrawal uh, and according to the idea 
of digital profile platform in Russia, it will be possible to manage one's content uh, on the platform, just one click. Um, I mean, it will be possible both to give consent to the proceeding of personal data and to withdraw it. Uh, and it is possible to withdraw or revoke uh, your consent in order to step a speech uh, uh, or to stop a um, search of information, to stop the analyzing, just withdraw. But you have to do it right and you have to do it in time. Yeah, and it will be much more comfortable dealing uh, according to the digital platform. Um, and uh, several services provide the basis of such a platform just now. Uh, we are speaking about the nearest future, but we've got, like in many countries, specific uh, sources. In particular, you can see on the screen the unified system of identification and authentication uh, in the infrastructure, providing information and technological interaction of information system used for the provision uh, of state and municipal services in electronic form uh, will serve as the basis of the project. Um, the next idea is the way in which uh, personalities are uh, going to be proceeded. Uh, digital profile, as they call, will enable citizens to see full information about themselves. Yeah, you see, uh, we've got different tools. It will be a digital medical profile, it will be tourist digital profile, it will be some profiles in bank services and so on. But this idea is about the main, the general digital profile. It will be able to uh, correct some data uh, on the citizens um, uh, party uh, and it will be information about themselves. Okay. Thank you. And it will be uh, something there, um, some service when we have when we have uh, all the information about the citizens. Of course, we've got uh, course and contrast for such kind of system. But in our country, we've got also a decree uh, where we can uh, change our passports, our documents to electronic ID cards. Including uh, all this uh, concept, I try to say that the main point, uh, the conclusion, yeah, uh, the main point uh, of this um, transformation, I think, is to get the balance between uh, personal, personal privacy and the interest to this data, to this uh, personal life um, on the side of uh, state and commercial companies. And I think that it will be uh, necessary to discuss it not only uh, in the Russia, but also worldwide, because it's the main problem, I, I suppose, uh, for all countries now. I hope these points were proven uh, in my presentation, <laughs> and uh, I am so happy that you have me, and thank you very much for for this experiment. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much to the Russian doctor Julia Cheratinova. We hope to have uh, your valued participation in next opportunities. Greetings from Peru.